today I'm going to talk to you about our underskirts, more specifically the hoops in our underskirts. So when you get your underskirt delivered, it will arrive like this, just holding onto this so it doesn't <laughs> spring out. So you'll get it arrived like this and that will have your underskirt in and also your hoop. This one that I'm going to show you today has two hoops. So we open them very carefully because they do have a tendency to spring open like so. We are then going to colour check our ends. So we've got a yellow one and we have a pink one. So the first thing that we're going to do when we get the underskirt out of the packet is just give it a little bit of a shake. We are then going to turn it upside down, inside out, until we locate the colour coded ribbons. As you can see here and here, these are the openings for the hoop to go into the skirt. We have a yellow one that correlates with this hoop and a pink one which correlates with this hoop. First of all we are going to do the inside hoop, so the pink one. All we are going to do is get the end of the hoop and we're going to insert it into the skirt and very gently just feed it through and you will see that the skirt will slowly start to take shape. When we get to the end here, there is a large bit of hoop left over. A lot of people worry that they have been sent the wrong size for their hoop, for their skirt. We are going to push this back in and through and then we are going to keep feeding the rest of the hoop in. This is because if we left it with the ends meeting like this, it would make a weak point in your underskirt. By them overlapping, it gives more structure and strength to your underskirt and therefore your dress as well. We are then going to just have a look so you can see that's the first one taking shape. The second hoop, just double check with the yellow cap, we're going to do the same again. Gently insert it and very slowly push it round and then again we're at the end, extra material, we're going to cross it over and keep pushing it round. we go. You can then pop the underskirt the right way and there you have a double hooped underskirt. I hope that has been really helpful for you as I know a lot of our brides do struggle with how to get the hoop into the skirt. So thank you ever so much for watching and if you do have any questions pop them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Bye!